I'm out here at Howard Park in Tarpon Springs. It's a beautiful area. I paint here a lot. There's a competition that's done here every year. It's just gorgeous out here. The birds are so funny. There's two different kinds of birds out there. These big ones and then these little ones. And they're sort of separating themselves from each other, but cooperating nicely. Anyway, there's the water in the background and these beautiful rocks. It's this really soft, color of green right there in the front and then a little bluer toward the back and there's actually some islands or some land way back there that's actually the main land I guess so you could put that in if you want there's even some tiny little buildings back there here goes a water skier Anyway, this is what we're going to be working on. I'm sitting here in and amongst all of these rocks. Let's see if I can turn this around and let you see me for a second. Here I am getting blown to smithereens in the wind. It's just gorgeous out here. So, let's see what we can come up with for something to paint thinking about doing this little scene right here where we've got some rocks and some water. I don't know if I can make it look like the water is down low because without having this perspective over the edge here it probably won't show that way but we'll see. Anyway wish me luck. So let's see if I can film this. I have dioxazine purple, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, a cadmium yellow light, which looks really dark, but it's not when you add white to it. Then I have um, yellow ochre and a lemon yellow, a yellow green, a viridian green, of course white, and then a lavender, a, a, a burnt sienna, and a, and a red. There's more rocks. Okay, wind, you will not defeat me. I'm gonna have to do it on a little tiny one. showing you the block in, which is part of it. Those are the rocks jutting out in strange shapes. So here we go with the sky. I hope you can see this. If not, I'm very sorry. A little more white here and there.
Next is the blue of the water. I'm going to scrub it a little because I want it in. This is a cheap little canvas that I'm using with teeth. I hate teeth. <laughs> I don't usually use this, but it was my backup emergency. And thank God I had it. Now I'm going to go into the light again and I'm going to blend those two together. This is quite a struggle to try to get you in here so you can see what I'm doing.
Okay guys, I'm gonna have to stop here because the wind is blowing to the point that I can barely function. So, I can barely reach my canvas the way I have this camera set up out here today. The wind is awful. I need to be able to get closer to what I'm working on. So I'm going to lean in and work on this a little longer. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. I don't know if I'll get it finished out here because honestly, there's a big storm coming in and it's supposed to rain shortly. So I may have to finish this at home. Guys, that's all I'm gonna do today. It's time to get out of here before the wind blows us over. I've really enjoyed this. Even though it was kind of crazy out here. There's my painting. And I will show it to you later when I get home. What would I have liked to do differently? Well, I would have liked little tiny bits of detail in here. Even though I don't like to put that much detail in plan air. I'll tell you what's difficult about it. These rocks and this sand here on the beach and the water coming in are very close to the same color. Hard to differentiate from them. Um, this is where my stuff is. I mean, I'm jammed into some rocks here. There's ants biting my legs. <laughs> this is plein air stuff here, baby. So my husband and son are over there having a little fun. I might take a quick dip in the water. I'm not sure before we go but it wasn't an easy painting. And the first one blew over. It was actually gonna be a big one, but it was taking the wind too hard. So I had to stop with that one and go to this tiny one that was more secure. Uh, well, that's kind of cute. Somebody painted that and left it there. Anyway, sorry about the crazy camera work as usual. But that's my finished painting out here.